A couple from Maryland lost their lives in intense heat while making the pilgrimage of Hajj in Saudi Arabia, and their distraught daughter is now frantically looking for their remains. When the couple last spoke to their daughter on June 15, Aludazi Wuri, 71, and Isat Atejan Wuri, 65, said they had been waiting for a vehicle to take them to Mount Arafat for hours in the intense heat. The completion of the Hajj, an annual Islamic pilgrimage to Mecca that draws millions of people each year and is required for all Muslims who have the resources to do so, was the Bowie couple's lifelong goal. Their daughter Saida Wuri told CNN that their parents saved their entire lives to embark on this journey and they didn't receive the proper preparation, the proper documents, it was just a nightmare overall. Saida claimed that one of the group members contacted her after she had last heard from her parents on that 109-degree day and told them their parents had passed away while traveling. Heat stroke was included on the list of natural causes of death for them. The consulate general's office informed her that the couple had already been buried, so she is now attempting to locate their bodies. We requested that the Saudi government withhold the bodies so that we could go to Saudi Arabia and properly bury them with their children present and be able to identify the bodies, Saida stated. Sadly, they have already been laid to rest. The highest temperature recorded in Mecca on June 15 was 109 degrees Fahrenheit, and it varied from 109 to 113 during the course of the week, according to AccuWeather. We only know that it was caused by natural causes, and someone from the American embassy did suggest that a heat stroke could have been one of the causes given the temperature, people were reporting it to be over 110 degrees, she stated. My parents most likely suffered from heat stroke, millions of people have to walk for extended periods of time. Saida revealed that her mother had recently resigned from her position as head nurse at Kaiser Permanente in Prince George's County, and that her parents had been dreaming of making the pilgrimage. The Wuri family booked the vacation through a Maryland-registered company, which Saida feels did not provide her parents with the required care, and paid $23,000 on it. To be really honest, I don't think they were ready for this trip. Saida stated, there was a group of them, possibly as many as 100 individuals, that were traveling under a certain agency. When the couple made the decision to walk, they were waiting for a ride. One of their group members claimed that once a Ludazi stopped for a break, the couple vanished from sight. Their daughter claimed, we got a call from someone in their group telling us they had been gone for a few days and that they were the only two who hadn't gone back to their hotel after the Hajj was over. We tried contacting the US Embassy after I tried tracking them down on the phone a few times, thinking maybe their phones had died, the individual who had first reported them missing told us after visiting several hospitals. They have passed away, he said. She said, I was able to confirm that they had passed away with the Saudi Consulate General's office. Angela Alsobrooks, a Democrat running for the Senate, honored the pair on X. Haja Isatu Wuri was a very involved person in our neighborhood. Alsobrooks stated that she was active in a number of community organizations and had a transformative influence on people both locally and worldwide. The pair, who had lived in Bowie for a long time and were originally from Sierra Leone, had recently reconciled after a breakup in the early 2010s, according to the Baltimore Sun. One of the five pillars of Islam is the Hajj, which every Muslim who has the means to do so must perform at least once. In 2024, more than 1.83 million Muslims are expected to participate, making it one of the biggest religious gatherings in the world. Historically, more than 2 million people have made the five-day journey to Saudi Arabia for the Hajj, where fatalities are not unusual. According to Saudi Health Minister Fahd bin Abdurrahman al Jalajel, over 1,300 individuals have died during this year's Hajj, most of them pilgrims traveling great distances in the intense heat in and around the holy city of Mecca. The Saudi National Center for Meteorology reports that throughout this year's Hajj period, daily high temperatures in Mecca and at holy sites nearby reached from 117 to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Following thousands of deaths, the Egyptian government declared on Saturday that it will punish travel agents for Hajj fraud. According to the cabinet, 
Egyptian Prime Minister Mostafa Madbouli issued an order to revoke the licenses of 16 tourism businesses and report their management to the government over the unlawful pilgrimages to Mecca. Tens of thousands of pilgrims seek to complete the Hajj through unofficial means every year because they are unable to pay the very expensive processes required to obtain official Hajj visas. Due to their inability to use the air-conditioned facilities that Saudi authorities have supplied along the Hajj route, these unreported pilgrims are put in danger.